All right, y'all, I'm back with another video, right? So I'm like a stand and so I'm gonna stand and do this video a little bit, but then I'm gonna have to go back and get in the bed. This video is a short video about whoopings, right? And growing up with your neighborhood watching you and what's the consequences, right? So when I was growing up, let's just put it like this. I was getting whoopings. Whoopings mean in my mind that you know that you're not supposed to be doing X, Y, or Z. You and your household, you know, with your mom or your grandma or whoever you was, whoever like raised you, what, um, you know what she told you not to do. So you want to get a whooping if you do it, right? And my mom, the way my mom was, mom, you all there. I'm talking about you a lot in this stuff. My mom wouldn't just go straight to the whooping, meaning like, oh, I told you not to do this. Boom, you getting a whooping. No, my mom is real good communicator, to be honest, because she would just they basically be like, okay, so, um, let's say, oh, let, I'm gonna take you to my last whooping. Oh my lord, y'all. So I got my last whooping when I was sixteen. She beat me, y'all, when I was 16 years old. And I feel like when I was 16, in my mind, I kind of look like this, but like better with a 16-year-old. I had this, that, all of that. This woman still wanted me to get on the bed naked for a beating. And I did it because I didn't play with my mom. Because I, I feel like I seen her guns, like her arms in my mind. I was thinking, I can't be her. And she from down here. So even though I done fought people in the streets, been jumped, been through a lot of other fights by the time I'm 16. Because I told you the first fight when I was 14. But by the time I'm 16, I done been in the streets. Like, as far as fighting, because I don't fight people. I wasn't fighting people because... I was looking for fights. I was fighting people because I want to play safely. I don't want y'all telling me what to do, ladies that didn't like me or whatever. Don't tell me where to go. Don't tell me what to say. Because for one, I'm not talking about you. My friends probably is talking about you, but ex my friends. I wasn't talking about y'all other girls. I was just happy to be outside. Two, you're not going to tell me not to talk to y'all boyfriend. Because for one, I don't want to talk to him. I can't go nowhere with him. I told y'all, I was a virgin till 17. So what that means is I can't do nothing with him. And I almost got into a fight when I was 16 with some girl telling me like, I just had a baby by this boy. I'm going to be in his life forever. Even though the boy the one told her that it was going to be a thing. But thanks to the whoopings. My mom had a method to the whoopings. Right? So when I was 16, I had stayed outside not longer than what I was supposed to. No. Look at this, y'all. Because it was like, I wanted to follow the rules. I really shouldn't have been getting no more beatings in my life. But still, my mom was beating up a savage. But I still had to go do what she said. So I wasn't that savage next to the queen. So anyway, um, I'm outside because I had the, my mom had this rule where I had to check in. Meaning she worked, working all day from 9 to 5. By the time she gets off at 5 o'clock, even if I'm out in the streets, like running around with my friends. She still want me to come home and she want to see my face. I had this beeper. So because I had the beeper, it used to get six shots. This is called a six shot, six shot beeper. I used to pay $19, $19 a month for it from page one on Lancaster Avenue. And that's in Manchua there in the bottom because that's where I'm from, y'all. <coughs> but anyway, well, that's where it was back then. And this is like 19... This is not 97. This is when she's beating me, right, y'all, and probably 99. So, anyway, yes, mom, we're going to discuss why you was hitting me and beating me. But I guess I don't know if this saved my life or nothing. Whatever. The point is this. So, I'm supposed to check in. After a while, my mom started paging me. She would page me. I would call her and be like, oh, mom, I'm at this intersection and that intersection because the bottom is very small. It's only a certain amount of blocks. And we get real territory over it. Like, no, that is not the bottom. This block, no, that is not the bottom. You're not from here. So, if, long story short, I was at a certain intersection at the time. I was on 38th of Mount Vernon. And back in the day, they used to have a payphone there. So, you lit. I'm, I, had a, um, I had my pager and... And if somebody call you, you go and call them back on the payphone. See, because I'm old. Go call the people back on the payphone because you don't have no cell phone. And back then, cell phones was a whole another different thing. 
And I don't even think they was out like that yet. Yes, they was. It was just like the New Jack City version. People wasn't having it. It was all about your beeper. So I page my mom. And I mean, a lot of times when she had page me, I'll talk to her and I'll ask her, like, Mom, do I got to come home? And she'll say, yeah. Sometimes she'll say no. So a lot of times she was saying no. So I started switching my mom rules without her switching it for me. That's what I found out. Remember, I told you she wouldn't even beat me all the time with my notice. I mean, I've noticed I'm getting a beating, but I couldn't notice that... I couldn't notice that, like, what all was the reasons behind it. So, but this particular beating, um, I wasn't checking in. Like, it wasn't my mom's responsibility to call me for me to tell her I'm fine at five. It was always set up that it was my responsibility to come to the house. So, since she letting me slide with the beeping, at least I should be get into the house sometimes or I should be calling her the ex do I gotta come near instead of just waiting for her to call me I'm 16 I just waited for her to call me and I didn't think I was going to start doing it I just started doing it one day I'm minding my business it's 9 30 at night and I'm 16 and I know I ain't do nothing wrong because it ain't 11 o'clock where I gotta be on my steps in the front door 11 30 maybe when I was when I was 16 but it's not that time and and none of that so um, my brother walked in the street. As soon as I see my brother coming to get me, I already know. It's, I don't even know why. I'm like, what did I do? The house clean. I clean my house. My homework is done. Like I was on a roll student. My mom didn't play that. Like I said, I had my house, my room clean, and my job was the bathroom. So the room, I had to make sure my room was clean, make sure the bathroom was clean. All my homework is done. So why are you right here, brother? My brother coming down the street, and I told y'all about my brother, how he's a man of few words. He really didn't care about <laughs> stuff, and he never was as excitable like I am. We got two different type of personalities. So I say to my brother, all hype like this. Um, He come, he walk up. He walk, He didn't even come to where I was at. He stopped in the middle of the block. As soon as I seen him, I jumped up and started coming. What you doing? What do you want? Kevin, he like, come on, you coming home. I'm like, what? For what? He like, stupid. I said, what? Kevin, what you mean? What did she say? He like, you just dumb. That's all my brother told me the whole time, even though he heard my my mom whole rant. Y'all gotta come back for for part two for the rant. No, no, y'all don't. About the beating. Long story short, when I got in that house, my mom smacked me. Boom! She ain't even told me why yet. So now I know to get in the room, to get naked, and I in my mind, I knew. I don't know what was happening. I was like, this is the last time I'm doing this. My boobs is out. My head's my. I'm not doing this. Even though I knew not to do that, then I had to figure out my next plan of exercise. I got to figure out how to not let her do this to me again. Like, fury. I feel like I'm doing everything right. Meaning, like, I clean my room. I clean the bathroom. I don't get in trouble with nobody, and I ain't doing it to nobody. So, where are you beating me? Oh, I'm getting beaten for not checking in. So my mom just went into a whole good communication. She come in there like the um after she done slapped me. Boom! Get in the room. Get in the room. You already know what to do. When you I do a whole video on weapons that's different, like her methods. <laughs> different. But you know to go in the room, take off your clothes, and wait. That's all you can do. And that is terrible. So anyway, I mean, whatever. The point is. She beat me when I had hips in this butt. And oh, well, I ain't gonna show that in my butt or nothing. But I had all this womanly stuff. This woman beat me on the bed. It was horrible. I took the beat and she told me that it basically had to do with the fact that you supposed to check in. And when I tell you to do that, you get that done. And my mom tell you to do anything, you get it done. So I don't even know why I let that slip, but I let it slip because I was all dealing with the senator. I mean, that city council woman, she's so fly and happy all the time. But the, when her rules come down, you got to remember, you can't start letting her nice personality make you think she don't mean business. And I think that's a lot. I'm a lot like her in that way. Like, don't let all that light niceness think that I don't mean the business. So whatever the case may be, I got the woman. My brother ain't tell me nothing because he ain't no snitch. He ain't snitching my mama. <laughs> he ain't care to tell me. Like, that's on you. All y'all want to do is keep on. Like, my mom, like, he's not a girl. He didn't care. But um, my mom took real good care of me. She had to beat me to teach me, like, hey, show your face around here because girls is not coming home safe all the time. I just thank God for a lot of things that happened to me, even though it seemed horrible at the time. So... I'm going to beat my kids, but I shouldn't be putting it in a video, should I? But whatever. We'll talk about it next time.
it's just a conversation. Like, subscribe, and share this video. Boom.